welcome back everybody to sarcast episode 5 uh today we are going to be looking at the game's events throughout history and sort of ranking them on where we deem them to be like of great like major importance major impact how fun it was and whatnot basically just on a general s through d ranking list uh but yeah today we have well popcorn the beaver me uh wheezy and roads with goods say hi everybody hello what up gang um before we start this episode and the ranking of these events i want to say thank you to all of the comments or all of the dms about the sarcast uh we really enjoy reading through your stuff so keep um participating in this however you feel fit and if you have a lot of experience or passion talking or playing SAR, uh, hit us up because we might ask you to be a part of an episode one day. We're looking for yeah. general experienced players or expert or passionate people in a bunch of different topics uh, for future It's episodes. not just content so, creators. Yeah, not <laughs> yeah, just content yeah, it could be creators. Anybody. So give us a shout. If you feel you excel in something, hit us up. Yeah, pretty much. And yep, um, for sure. Like Popcorn said, we're going to be mostly on our alternate little thing today. We're going to be hanging out at another tier list. Uh, this one Yippee. was made by Weezy. Weezy, thanks for taking the initiative to make this one. Because yep. I would have. No problem. Oh, no, not blood cancer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. I, can't, I can't look into the eye the entire time. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's getting worse. All right, perfect. All right, welcome to our little tier list. I was saying before we even went live, started recording this episode, I have did not realize how many events have been in this game. This is a ton. And um, the last thing I said, which got some groans and moans from the call, was this was the first event I started with yeah. right here in 2023 spring. So like, I mean, I'm not much bully. better. Look how much been missed. through a ton of yeah. events before. I started, on the, I started on the first event, which is 2018. <laughs> You started this one? Yeah. yeah. Before they no, even so had names? I started. Holy. Weezy at least something to talk about. I, I can't until like mid-2020. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a I bit did of my a, research. but yeah, It's going to be a bit of a more quiet episode for me because I haven't got to live a lot of this. But we're going to get to hear a lot from uh, Weezy today and Popcorn about halfway through 2020. Just 2020, right? Or 2021? Yeah. Uh, 2020 midway, uh, but, but I, I have done my research on 2019, so yeah, I can But contribute. I still will uh, give some opinions here, because I feel like you can still get a good generalized theme of what it added to the game, as well as the cosmetics themselves. So I already have some pretty big opinions, even with some of these that I haven't participated in, just because I feel like how um, important they were to the game, you know? So, um, Wheezy, we'll honestly let you take it away, and uh, the rest of us can just chime in about where we think it should be placed, if you want to explain some of these ones starting... We'll start at the bottom and then uh, make our way to the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so just a disclaimer for two two of these events are have been always the same throughout the years. So St. Patrick's Day and Duo's Day, they are always the same no matter what uh, year it is. But <laughs> so Christmas 2018, this was the first uh, Super Morale event into the game. This is... This came out, um, I think, when it came out on Steam, so December 12th, I, I believe. And it was like two days after uh, I it came it out. It lasted until yeah. it lasted until January 5th, so I started playing on January 3rd. Oh, it was and, December 14th. I think, yeah. That's when it came out, right? Let me, let me see. I believe so, because that's when the uh, Super yeah, Dog it. came out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they introduced the dogs, obviously. And, but this event, it wasn't really too special. Um, so every time you would play the game and you would level up, you'd always get a random uh, item drop throughout the entire Christmas event. So the five in items introduced were the Russian dance emote, the peppermint candy cane, the Santa hat, the Santa outfit, and the festive sweater. And they also introduced uh, yeah. the super red-nosed deer or the Rudolph deer, which... It was exclusive for a while until they made that change in 2019, so... It was limited drip for a while, and then they are just like, you know what, now everyone has it. Yeah, because they didn't want to like limit the animals to just within the event itself. I think it's fine if it's cosmetics, though. The animals yeah. now. 
uh, animals should be accessible to the public. Uh, if I had to rate this event, I want to say it was probably like it's between C or D. Honestly, it was very niche. So I'd say for a starter event, it's probably a good C because I wouldn't call it terrible. It was just kind of like a fair introduction to things. Yeah, like there wasn't really any decorations around the map. It was just uh, random drop items. And that was it. So yeah you get cosmetics it's a good way to introduce some things that are going throughout the game they're experimenting very early on you can't really blame them yeah for sure uh so next we have the lunar year of lunar year event which is year of the pig this was in 2019 i believe and so i think this was the start of, of which uh quite a few people figured out that oh yeah this game exists and yeah yeah, this they started when, to pop in for this. This is when they introduced uh, Bamboo, which is right in the middle of the map. Originally, the Bamboo did not exist, but they also introduced uh, Squads Test Weekend, and then uh, it's basically the same as like the last one. It's just random event drops, which it's all RNG. Yeah, that's still a pretty <laughs> big it, update, though. To... Bamboo is kind yeah. of like the heart of the map. That's a very good POI. Yeah. But and, I guess to like add on yeah. quickly, it's kind of hard to talk about the early events since not much happened compared to like other ones in the future. But there are some specific ones that have like a huge yeah, impact. Yeah, that have drastically changed, honestly. But I will say Bamboo getting added alongside of event is quite major. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the layout for this event wasn't really it was it was OK, I would say. I would say I would probably put it in like C or B at most, maybe low B. Yeah, it'd be like a low B. I, I feel because, like the introduction of bamboo, uh, Yeah, a POI is in and of itself a decent update. So yeah, you can't really complain about a new area to play with. Yep. And then uh, th this one's interesting. <laughs> yeah, so this was the first April Fools event um in 2019 so all of the bullets in every specific gun were turned into bananas it was it only lasted for like a day um and every time you would play a match i believe it was just uh you just banana get a banana rainbow. yeah you just get a banana melee weapon skin um it lasted for, for about four days then. It, it apparently lasted for a few four days so the first oh, i thought it was like a single day damn okay yeah i just read that on the wiki so oh wow i i genuinely thought it was a single day <laughs> but if it was a single day i would put it to d but i think since this event it's it's kind of like a joke event i'd probably put it like a, a d tier at most but because it's not very it's not very appealing <laughs> yeah it's real funny eh, Weezy? <laughs> <laughs> okay so <laughs> so the next event we got is the first ever easter update or easter which is interesting today. i didn't realize they literally called it super easter for the first what one two three they four. never uh did respawning day till like what was so it? four two years they just called it the super easter update and then 2023 started respawning and then obviously we had a respawning this year too so that's, yeah. that's interesting. I never knew that it just straight up was called the Super Easter update before. Yeah, they just more so picked uh, gener ge generic holidays. So yeah, yeah, so this event introduced the Super Bunny in to the we also got item trade-up. Yeah, we also got item trade-ups. Uh, we got a good amount of cosmetics, I would say, which uh, they look pretty cute, I will say. The white and chocolate bunny are really cool to have the and white they... bunny is probably one of the most used bunny skins in the entire game. yeah for for sure i wish the chocolate bunny got some love though so, absolutely i don't see it's many people running it anymore it's just like um sizzle and that's it that i see using chocolate bunny <laughs> yeah and this is uh we had another squads uh test weekend as well so from april 19th to the 23rd so yeah I, I I think a strong C tier, but like top of C tier for this one. Yeah, yeah, I'd say top of C. Nothing much happened, but it's still like you get some cool skins, uh, you get bunny stuff, and you get you, you get the bunny ears, which has always been a beloved cosmetic. 
I think we also got a, uh, the Super Eagle Landing update on, around that time too. So, and they introduced us a Kura Trees. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. I'd say it's, I'd say it's still, I'd say it's seeds here still. So yeah, definitely Ooh. not like most major thing ever. Oh, Next we got is, the uh, Summer Royale. A lot happened between the East Show and Summer. Like you got skunks, you got mm -hmm. otters, and Discord invites. Like a lot happened between there and then. So, this is the first event to introduce like milestones in terms of events. So every time you would collect a fruit basket um, around the map, it would count towards your current fruit baskets that you had. And the most amount of fruit baskets you could collect up to is like at least five hundred. The last one is the fruit hat. So. And, uh, there's another squad test weekend, of course. Um, oh boy. I don't know. I don't exactly. I would explain more during the Halloween, but this is still, uh, this is still a niche event, I would say. So probably, I mean, C or B, C or B at most. Probably it C was a, it was was a lot of good cosmetics, but that was like the extent of it. It was just really a bunch of summer related cosmetics and squads test. Did so, you say that this was, was the first event to implement the milestone system? Yeah, like milestone and I, uh, I feel like currency. I feel like that has to be super important just for what it did for events, because that is the system that would be used for like what the next two years, three years, three and a half years. Yeah. So I feel like I will kind say of like it a, actually, yeah, I, think, is. I changed my mind. I think it's I think it's B, at least a little B. Yeah, I think it's at least very, very important least. for what like for updates in general because it created like the new uh, bottom line for events for years to come. So I feel like it should earn a little bit more respect on the tier list just for that, if anything, right? Put yeah. Some respect on its name. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say B. That that is fair. I'll give you that. That it is it is of much importance because of the extent of, yeah, of how the much fact that, that it added milestones. Yeah. Um, Definitely so, not top of B okay. because I feel like the lunar event was more important to the game's history. Just as like yeah, a the lunar event made a huger impact, I'd say, on like player base as well. But I will say that like you are right, milestones is a very important addition to the game. So it's like they're kind of standing side by side. So we got the first ever Halloween event. This was the not called Halloween. Candy? It's it was called, called uh, Halloween. <laughs> yeah, Halloween, but the technical name for event was Candy Corn Hunt. Yep. So there were 20 event cosmetics in this one. This was there was one of the, so many cosmetics. This was, this was one of the grindiest <laughs> events that I've ever played in 2019. It so, got so many people to start like actually really like going out yep. and saying, oh, hey, I want to get all the cosmetics like this was the sort of birth of the uh, collector, like gremlins, such as run around saying, "I want every cosmetic." Yeah, and funny enough, like with this event, all you had to do was just collect and can't correct, yeah, collect candy corn around the entire map. You didn't earn yeah. candy corn through surviving or getting kills. You just had to collect them around the map. I do think that um, play. Yeah, what was it? It was bots dropped candy corn, but it was like only one in stuff like those in squads, but three in solos. But for players, yeah. it was three and then five for solos. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was really just last... about like running around yeah. and actually trying to get as many kills as possible. But you can still just get it by going about yeah. it. Yeah. So the it also mentions the last game, the kill, the last kill of the game is worth five candy corn in all three modes. Yeah. It's always so you got a little reward. Uh, if I were to rate this event, since it was like the most grindiest event, I'd say, and I'd say I had fun with this one. Like, it took me four days to get all of the items in this. Yeah, no, it made people want to play. Yeah, I'd say A, like A or S. Honestly, uh, I, I wouldn't put it in S because I feel like there's been other events throughout the game's history that like had a yeah. bigger impact. But A is definitely fair. Yeah, cosmetics are a very large thing for event for pretty much everyone where they just say, oh, hey, I want cosmetics and they want to expand their collection and seeing that there's like 20 in here and you have to really put effort into actually getting them all, then yeah, no, it's definitely a really good event. Mm, for sure. Well, 
this is we're gonna move on to my this favorite an event. important event in the game system this I will is say. this is the most important event in my honest opinion the super crisper miss 2019 this event introduced so many things to the game that i absolutely loved and this was... i feel like it's without a doubt that we could just put this one in s tier right away yeah it's it's literal s tier so the reason why it's s tier because like we got we got an update to tundra which is up north of the map an update to adding the penguin palace and adding uh thomas's workshop but but what this event did yeah we also got penguins so this is my i'm not biased about this by the way <laughs> not biased i promise <laughs> yeah but how this event worked is that it they went back to the whole milestone thing with all the items in the game but every single week we got different cosmetics and you had to do challenges for them so for week one when they introduced penguins uh so take a challenge like a uh, thomas gun and you had to get eight thomas gun kills this is also when they released the thomas gun by the way which yeah new was pretty broken it was also time. broken on release because it had 50 bullets in slot it, 50 bullets and worked at any range so oh god didn't yeah, so... it have no damage <laughs> fall off or was that or was that i think too far <laughs> maybe it was been too far but i'm not sure i didn't really see uh numeric damage around the time so oh like, my god. Yeah, but so besides penguins, we also got uh, the Super Rudolph returning. So the ring, Rudolph D returns to the uh, research lab. And we also got the Moose and Gingerbread Bear. Big rip to three. the purple SMG, though. Yeah, purple SMG will, will uh, rest in peace. Uh, and we yeah. also got Snow Leopards in week three. So It was also, also the also, first SAR anniversary code. Yep. They, they introduced the first... Uh, uh, Pixel uh, code. That was where you could get the first gravestone for the little birthday cake. Yeah, the year one. And and also, all the 2018 uh, items returned as well. So, and A there, lot of people were afraid that they was, wouldn't uh, from where I looked. It was a 25% boosted random drop if a player does not own them. It was, it was pretty cool. The, honestly, this is like one of the best events of all time you said earlier that you think so. it's by far the best event and i'm going to argue with you later because i think there's one that in okay. my head <laughs> takes above this really and we'll wait till we get there it's personal yeah. preference you know that's the whole point of a list but yeah no it's definitely a really good event to say the least mm -hmm. for sure uh and then we uh we move on to 2020. the 23rd of 2020 yeah <laughs> The first event of 2020 is rats. They're running around, scurry and get them. <laughs> oh my god, what was added this event? I forget exactly, but I do remember it was a very important event for one specific reason. Which one was it? Uh, they added, I forgot what exactly what they added, but I do remember that they added the currency that you had to grind for was cheese coins, and I found yeah, that hilarious that, that it was called cheese coin. Yep, it, it was cheese coins. Um, yeah. I think oh yeah, you had it. The um, uh, what was it? The inventory management system was added so that you can move around stuff in your inventory. That's why it was so important. Yeah. They also nerfed the hell out of the Thomas gun. <laughs> Yep. Because they realized it was way too oppressive. But yeah, no, the inventory management system is very... It, it's arguably one of the most used features, I'd say, by literally anybody in the game at this point. Because, you know, you need to be able to move stuff around in your inventory. <laughs> and they also overhauled the ba uh, statue in Bamboo. So every year, yes. they always replace the statue in Bamboo with the designated animal for that specific year. So... And it's always happened every single year. If I were it to also rate, ended on the, uh, yeah. would you want to rate this one popcorn, or should I, or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'd say you have more say in it because I still wasn't like in the game yet, but I definitely okay. heard stories about it. So, okay, so I honestly want to say it's, I'd say it's like around B. Fair Maybe enough. like the same, 
I don't know if it should be above the 2019 or below it because this one had a, I think a little more uh, cosmetics compared to the last year one. I, I feel like looking past the cosmetics, would you say that being able to manage your inventory or bamboo was like more impactful? I think I'd say both. Yeah, it's, I think it's, this should be up 2019. Because yeah. this, this, this had a little had a bit more changes. Fair enough. Than the 2019 one. So it's like just right above it then. They're yeah. roughly around the same in terms of like impact, but definitely uh the changes made in 2020 were a bit greater than 2019 but they are very important both of them all right so we got another april fools event <laughs> but this oh, one <laughs> this one it actually introduced uh free falling into the game so you know when you drop out of the eagle there's a little button that you can press uh to free fall well they introduced it around this time so and it lasted they also for like in the, uh, the outfits. Four items. Yeah, we also got uh, additional outfits to, to uh, falling, I believe. And uh, they also brought. A, a, well, actually, no, never mind. This didn't really bring too much, but this added another banana as cosmetic. It's just an umbrella. Yeah. But yeah, I want to say. Keep on adding banana cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, just for April Fools. I think it should. Honestly. I want to say it's below C, but it it's definitely not D tier. I think I'd say like bottom I, I, C. It's like yeah, bottom C. Because it's a good meme, really but at the same time, it didn't really do much. No, it's, it's, it, it is an important mechanic to be able to free fall, but it's like that's the extent of it. We got April Fools and yippee, there it is. Yep. Um. Okay, so this is the super easter 2020 event yeah this is like they happen around the exact same time so yeah this happened it was just free fall was introduced i think right at the beginning of this event and then this event happened well they both occurred at the same time it's just uh yeah yeah this one lasted for about 18 days so so they did Damn. bring back the legacy event items uh which had a 25 percent chance to drop after matches separate from regular drops and let me go to the patch notes for this one i don't think this yeah, had, I, I this had much uh, number much patch notes wise i know yeah because then they um they nerfed dart gun i remember that uh um, yeah. oh they removed them, it? they removed epic m16 from the mole crate oh that's right yeah no well they just started removing epics from the mole crate in general besides the you made uh, one very specific one yeah yeah i, I also, like how if you look in the uh the more update section half of it is just them trying to balance emus over and over again with all the glitches yeah. <laughs> ah yes revived players entering giant <laughs> emus oh goody there's also the new milestone for dancing in the rain which yeah that was added the then you just had to dance in the rain the most yep. competitive leaderboard in the game because everyone does it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not really strong though. It was kind of just an ad. Yo, for the TikTok yeah. brain people, I got you with the. Oh yeah, scrubbers. let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I got you with the. Hey, I was wondering what you're gonna. Play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll keep your we removed the ad and now we have subway servers. <laughs> yep. But honestly, if I were to rate this event, uh, I want to say it was like. B. I'd say B. I wouldn't put it like that high though, personally. Maybe I'd probably say like C. top C personally. But like I said, I yeah, wasn't C there and you were, so Yeah. I, I'm basing this, this off of really, like my This didn't really bring too much then. It yeah, didn't really like... do much, but it definitely was it, it was an event of time. <laughs> we'll call it that. It yeah. was just something that happened. It was a nice way to introduce stuff. I'd say that like there have oh, there been other events oh. that have been adding more impact. Oh, I also forgot to mention that there was an event store where you had to uh, use the Easter eggs to buy. Yeah, cosmetics. it was the beginning of that, I think, right? Yeah. I yeah, the so. system that got changed because everyone found it monotonous after three years. Yep. 
But uh, I, I, I still think it's. I think it has. Think I think it's high C at most. Yeah, it's high C. I wouldn't put it in B though. I feel like that's giving it too much credit. Yeah. So All this right. one is the. Now we're getting into my territory. <laughs> yeah, this is the summer one, and yeah. I believe popcorn will take charge of this. One. I I can actually say on this because I like started showing up pretty much right as like this was like ending and whatnot. Um, to put it simply, it was just a another regular summer event. You just had to run around, get the fruit baskets that you collected. You got them at the end of the round. General like event happenings that you would expect all throughout those three years. It had the little store. You can get the legacy items at 25% boosted. But mm -hmm. I will say something as a bit of a dissociation between these summer events and summer cosmetics tend to be some of the best in the game that just get added so to give it a bit more credit it was a pretty good event for cosmetics alone you also had the pool noodles with code summer you had stuff like the all the um fruit animals coming in yep. uh skunk yeah this was Pineapple also the time and yeah this was also skunk. the time that skunk gas vial which by the way it was the vial before it became the snorkel uh, it literally just made you immune from tart guns. <laughs> so, yep. that was uh, an interesting time. Um, this They also uh, buffed Banana Forker and made it not only viable, but oppressive. So that was interesting. Uh, I Besides that, though, it was really just a small change to Honestly. shotguns, deagle yeah. ranges, new commands for private matches, which is always nice to see. But besides that, it was just the... New little cosmetics, the new animals, and some of the better um, cosmetics in the game. Even if it's like nothing much happens, it's still the summer event for those cosmetics, so you can't really complain that much about getting good cosmetics. Yeah. Uh, if I, 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 like, I do it in I want to say like high B or low A yeah. on this one. Because I, what, we, what we also got in this uh, event is that there was a random non event item button that cost like 600 uh fruot baskets that's and every right time you, and you can just every, get a every time item. you redeem that every time you redeem that you get a random item and duplicates were still a thing around uh around the time you still have the so. ability to trade up so if you grinded you could basically get as many cosmetics as you want yep they also introduced the ping system in quick chat was this the update with ping i don't remember yes, if it was it, actually it was. oh my god really Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't know. And yeah, no, also, it was quick chat ping. And they also introduced uh, private matches. No, I think it was just more private match commands. I don't think it was just private matches in there. Oh, you know, because yeah, private yeah. matches were introduced a month before this, and then they added yeah, more commands in that update. So yeah, definitely it is, I'd say, like, yeah. top of B, because just, like, alone with all the stuff in there. Personally, okay. I, I'd put it there. I, I don't know what you guys would have to say. I, I want to say bottom A, but top top B is fine. I mean, okay, well, just after giving... hearing everything and also looking at the cosmetics on the wiki on my second monitor, I, I agree with Weezy with bottom A. Fair enough. It was, it, they are definitely fire cosmetics. Yeah. And they also introduced the pride cosmetics too. Yippee! All right. Code love, by the way. <laughs> Code love, everyone. Ah, uh, yes. Spooky time. Yeah. This was um, right before, because I don't think that, yeah, no, this list doesn't show the super free release, which is arguably the most important update in the game. I think it's Christmas. No, because like it was, it was right before Christmas, so it was in between Halloween and Christmas. But gotcha. I, I guess just as a statement, like to clarify at least it was arguably the most uh impactful update in the game because you know if the game becomes free to play uh coins start to exist and svr the 32 v 32 mode got introduced alongside of super edition but we also besides got, that, uh old night mode <laughs> yeah that's right old night okay i just a quick rant old night mode was one of the funniest things ever because you couldn't see anyone you had nope. like a cone of vision and that was it. Yeah. It was so cool because at any given point, you could just be shotgunned and not know what the hell happened to you. 
it was so it was genuinely scary like if it was yeah. its own standalone thing that they brought back every once in a while i would not complain yeah i i do miss all night mode sometimes i do understand that i do understand there are certain problems with it like whether that was medical issues or that will probably disorient players which i do yeah. understand a that lot of people did complain about that specifically but i personally yeah i personally loved it so i i'm like biased i guess I did give also it a decorate, high rating, uh, but they did also decorate the map with this one. So, yeah, they did. I I wouldn't say it was like that decorated, but it definitely yeah. had a much nicer atmosphere. What I do That's know nice though stuff. is there was so many items because like the past event all got like compiled into this one, but this event had the candy corn sniper and the skeleton AK, which were two very beloved gun skins from my memory because you saw them everywhere <laughs> yep oh god but yeah no it was um it was a time everybody wanted the funny items and besides that though it was just it was cool atmosphere cool cosmetics and gun skins can't complain about gun skins nope i but like I said, I'm biased for old night mode, and because of that, I'd personally put it in A, but I don't even- I don't think it deserves A. Just like going outside of like old night mode, because if you remove old night mode from that, it's kind of like, well, the event wasn't that great. Yeah, it, been, it wouldn't have been scary. Yeah. yeah. Old night mode kind of carried it, so we could probably put this in like B. Like middle like, B. Yeah, middle B, so... Yeah, Probably, summer, yeah, right, right below, right below the uh, lunar fest, but above summer, I'd say that's a good spot. Yep. All right, and now here is the 2020 Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody! This was right after the game became free. There was a pretty substantial uptick in like players, but they also added um, the knitted sheep, the peppermint hyena, the green finch, and the lionhead rabbit alongside of goats. Uh, you also had SVR Legacy be brought back again, and then there was the regular Christmas run cosmetics. But, besides from that, I think it was just the stuff in the saw shop that was really interesting, because the event itself was kind of like the similar shtick, where you now just spent the 450 to get the Legacy items. Nothing much changed. It was a fun event for like you know yeah. all the new players to come in to play the game because they can get all the legacy cosmetics and there was a lot of new stuff going on but i mean okay you can the also only see the, thing you can also see the yeah. artwork in the smoma that's true it was also the small artwork that was very I think important this was like there. this was the, maybe the second uh art contest i believe that's what it was based off of where... huh yeah Yep. Because uh, right before Christmas 2020, Super Stage got added. So you could technically lump it into that event because they were literally like, I think, yeah. like two weeks apart. So I, I would, they were this in the same a, month. Yeah. I'd lump it into that event. You got pigeons and possums. It was really cool. So if you were to like consider both of those as well, I'd say that it was honest. You know, honestly. Pretty good event. Not the best, pretty good event. Personally, top of B. Yeah, I'd say top of B, to B as well. It wasn't great, but it was it was alright. It was a good event for new players to come into. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, now we get into um, probably the biggest year for the game, uh, 2021. Yep, this is when the game oh boy. is going to be out of early access. <laughs> Yep, um, but first we have to start off with the uh, Ox event, which was the Year of the Ox, or Year of the Cow, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, man. Uh, I think it was just the yeah, it was a, it was just a bunch of lunar cosmetics. Nothing really changed besides oxes well, getting well, added. Well, and... you have to take into consideration they changed uh, cheese coins to red envelopes. In terms of currency you know what you're right d tier get rid of it <laughs> bad event no more cheese coins 
No more cheese hoods. All you get, <laughs> all you get are these red envelopes. Dinky. Oh god. You're just but, eating um, paper off the. <laughs> yeah, it was also the duos they rose that came back. Um, yeah. Bamboo stick. Yeah, no, they put the bamboo stick in Carl's cart, which I swear was a saw shop item. But hey, maybe I'm tripping. Uh, yeah, we uh, we did we did also have saw shop rotations every week around that event. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. And this then was the dual important pistols. update for. We was this also pistols. dual pistols? This update. Yes, we had dual pistols. Oh my god, that's right. It was dual pistols, and they were so buggy on release. It was funny. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Like it, okay, definitely that's a really important like um, point to add, but I would also like to additionally say, um, sniper and the dart gun, they had the feature where they snap their aim back instantly after reloading, which would reduce the whole like janky shot that you had. That was very important because so many people had issues with just their bullet not going in the right direction. Yeah. I so that's a really nice bug fix just right there but aside from that dual pistols one of the more beloved Everyone's weapons favorite. in the game I'd say yeah no you, who who doesn't love dual pistols cough cough console players anyway uh so <laughs> I, good event minus yeah. cheese coins though like I'm just going to pretend that uh cheese cheese coins are still there going to put a little little sticky note saying yeah no it's there I promise um I don't, mm -hmm. I don't actually know. I'm conflicted on where to put this. Like, I can put this anywhere in, like, the whole middle-ish area, but I'd like to hear... I'd say, like, crazy. I would honestly put it between uh, CRISPR Miss 2020 and uh, Year of the Rat 2020. You know what? Fair. That is, that's a pretty good spot to put it. Yeah, it's, like, in between. It's, like, right... <laughs> Uh, one one up one up there there you go yeah, yeah that's one good. up <laughs> oddly enough they're all like coalesced with each other they did they get slightly better more and more <laughs> uh that's funny all right um what is this this is the next easter event being 2021 yep so this we didn't have many cosmetics was... in this one huh it was only uh Nine, I believe. Oh, mystery mode got added there. Okay, yep. that's when it was. Oh, uh, mode got added around this time? Right. Yeah, no, yeah, that was mystery it did. mode. Okay, so A tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? At least, like, at least, like, bottom of A. Like, I, literally, just considering that alone, that's actually just flat bottom A tier right there. There's not even that much to talk about in this event, but mystery mode getting added in is arguably very, very important. It made the most impact, I would say. Yeah, everyone loved it on its initial release. They were like, oh my god. This is also following uh, Mushrooms getting released, which is yep. definitely a nice thing. But between then and that, like this one and the next update, you also had the console edition of Xbox yep. coming in for the first time. And, and that was to get founders. <laughs> yeah, and that was like, I have some reservations. I'll say about what happened to the game throughout that era. But you know what? I uh, I'm, I'm gonna retract myself. Yeah. But the point is, I think that it was definitely a very um, impactful event from just mystery mode alone. From what it had inside of it, it was pretty much bare bones, and I put it in like C. But mystery mode itself kind of carries yeah, it, it made to like bottom A. Definitely bottom A for me. Um, and now we're on the super super summer royale. This was event. the last event before 1.0 arrived. Yep. And it was kind of like a farewell of early access. For sure. Definitely some really nice cosmetics in here, like some notable ones being the beach sunglasses, the starfish visor, and both beach party outfits. Mm -hmm. But you still could get all the original cosmetics, and like I said, those yeah. all fire. Like, all oh, really, this one, really good. It wasn't through random drops anymore. There was a random legacy item gift option that costed 450 uh, fruit baskets. Yep, you had to... Uh, if you didn't have them. <laughs> You had to pay up front. This is also Super Fan Art Contest 3? 
yeah, I don't remember if this was the exact one or maybe I know. I don't remember exactly which one, but that's not really of biggest importance to like the whole event structure. But... As a farewell, controversial opinion, it was kind of weak. Really? I, I mean, this was just a beach update. It. Was this the beach update? Yeah. They introduced the beach update. I remember it. No, because I think that it was it came alongside the beach party pass at the beginning of June, and this happened at the end of June. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. I mean, to be fair, we kind of took that into consideration when we ranked the uh, when we ranked 2020 Christmas for like the whole uh, event structure for stuff coming up free and whatnot. So I guess it would kind of be hypocritical to not include that with this one. Yeah. So, including beaches and just the event itself, still wasn't amazing, but nice cosmetics. I'd say they probably could have done a bit better, but the shores... I love the avocado slot. <laughs> yeah, I love the avocado slot. For me, though, probably, like, totally considering broken, shores... <laughs> considering shores flat B, like, the very middle of B. Yeah, it's like, one of the most, like... Middle of the road event. Yeah, that, there's good, I'd say. All right, yeah. and now we have a. Uh, oh boy. Walking Halloween. Dead. <laughs> Halloween 2021. Yep. We got Walking Dead and Pixelport. This followed 1.0 release, which most substantial like player addition to the game, but. The cosmetics for me in this one, amazing. I genuinely found them like I they they knocked it straight out of the park for this event. Oh yeah, I don't know beautiful. how. I like, love the skull cat especially. Oh, it was so good. Like you you saw so much creativity with people's outfits. This was like, it was honestly a renaissance for people creating like their own outfits and trying out stuff yep. with like their designs, figuring out what their designs were, but. Yeah, the Super Nightmare, that was the one that everyone wanted. Oh my god, it was so used. But, you know, Pixelport added in. Um, they nerfed they nerfed Pacifist because of me and Frosty specifically, fun fact. They also buffed the bow in this one. Yeah, they also buffed the bow. Um, oh yeah, wait, 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 what was it? Uh, this was when they nerfed Impossible Tape. Yeah, they cause... they they took impossible tape, took it to an alley, and shot it dead in the street. Oh no! Yeah, it went from like two tick to one tick. Or oh, it was now. so sad because every single one of the tryhards were so mad because they couldn't place, cheese yeah. their win con anymore. Oh, yeah, no, they did buff bow and sparrow launcher in that sense because like you now had like the whole twelve seconds of tracking. Uh, Dark yep. Gun got buffed, AK got nerfed slightly, uh, Claw Boots got a little buff, which is definitely a nice feature, and you could also cancel the cutting by crouching, which, honestly, I think it's very underrated that, like, that's yeah. just the feature on Claw I Boots, that you can crouch and not cut. Um, if you really want to stay hidden. So, <laughs> personally, oh, I think this? it was honestly just... Would putting in an S be controversial? I think it would be, honestly. I want to like, say like A. I yeah, want to say bottom A at most. It, it, it's a good A, because I, I, I think I have more fondness with this event, because this was when a lot of the hype of the game was happening. But Plus, Pixel Port is huge. So. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, maybe it's like... I, I think like Blocking Dead was one of the more larger aspects of it, but even then, it continued and it kept going on. So I feel like A is fair. But my like my concern with that is, are we really lowering? Are we really putting it lower than 2019 Halloween? Uh, Would you say that 2021 was worse than 2019? Because I do get that 2019 had some of the cooler cosmetics come into the game. Yeah, it had it had the most, I believe. Yeah, it had. 18. But it's just like I I think that Walking Dead alone was huge at the time. Because it was completely different from anything yeah. else in the game. I don't know. I, Honestly, I'd say you know, I'd say top right of above. yeah, at least yeah, top, top of A. a. I think it's fair. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't. I don't mind. A good top of A. It was this definitely one, better. This one had a little more impact than 
what 2019 did. All right, and this is the last event of 2021, which was the Christmas one. Yippee, Merry Christmas, everybody. Cross-platform just got released. Yay. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, I will say this event, cross-platform carried the entire event. The cosmetics really were fine. They weren't great. They were fine. The only notable one in here was really the uh, Snowflake Silence Pistol and the Winter Fur Hat, but that's it. I don't like. What would you? Oh yeah, they grades? added Super Beavers. Yay! Now yeah, I, I was about to say. Oh, great. <laughs> this is your update, popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> to this fun fact, to this day, I still hate the Beaver breed. <laughs> Yeah, but they added beaver HQ. Beavers have always been around, just like not as a playable. Yeah, I know. And I'm just, I was so mad when on release it had three breeds. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Everything else gets five, and you gave me three. I mean, they could add more in the future. Maybe. Oh my god, they did. We'll they have, added. The... We'll have to see. We'll have to see for this year. All right. Well, here's the thing. I feel like cross-platform was like you got a new POI, you got cross-platform parties, which was pretty huge. Yeah. I don't think it was that great. Besides that, though, <clears throat> like it's a farewell to 2021. It could have been a little better. So would uh, you say it's like B, at least middle of the road again? I B, but not that that high of a B. I'd say that 2020's winter event was better than. This one. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's like, honestly, it, it's somewhere between one of the um, uh, lunar events, but I don't know which one to put it next to. <laughs> They're all just equally there and putting the Christmas. You know what? You know what, Broads? You decide. Wh where does it go next to the lunar ones? <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, I think that's fair. I feel like cosmetics fair and crossplay is enough to. Yeah, it, it's see. enough to give it some credit. Yeah. They also added the um the little the little snow fox, which yeah, the Arctic fox, one of the most used animals for like the longest time. By the way, I think people were using that consistently for five months straight. It was amazing to watch people just use nothing but that. Yeah, there's um, still some people that use it to this day. Literally, it's a cute animal. Yeah. All right. I'll give it that. Yippee, everybody. It's 2022, and the best weapon in the game just got introduced. It's the BCG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah. so... I feel like we don't really necessarily even have to describe the impact of the BCG. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I Okay. Have... I'm personally biased because of the pr on the preview event, the very last game that they had, I won it past this and Jake lost his mind because he found it so funny and all the other devs were like, wait, what happened? I didn't see it. I remember playing this. I remember playing the premiere and the BCG was really strong. Oh, in, it and Mountain, I would say. He Here's the thing like about on the BCG. Edge. It was really strong, but everyone thought it was bad. And the reason why they didn't see its potential until they buffed it a bit too much. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It was really strong if you knew how to use it, but if you didn't, you kind of just looked at it and you're like, "What the hell is this thing?" Yep. But yeah, uh, we got we got some nice tiger reads. We got the Bengal tiger and the toy tiger, and you know the standard fare of lunar and golden. Uh, the BCG was added, but hamster balls. That was the that oh, was the big man. update for hamster balls. Yep. Yep, that was the one where it added the whole wind effect and yeah. Really work. <laughs> Rip camera. <laughs> uh specialty <laughs> ammo got introduced because they didn't want to separate it between sparrows, darts, and eggs. And fun fact, there was yeah, a was separate ammo container for eggs. And then they realized, you know what, it's too messy. So they just merged it into specialty. Since they all had armor punch. Um, yep. But Bandolier got its very minimal and disappointing buff. Haha. <laughs> uh, Sparrow Launcher got its clip size increased to five, which was a very nice thing. Dart yeah, when had it its ability to. Be... <laughs> yeah, no, it had four for a while. No one used it. And when it got to five, everyone was like, you know what? It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Dart Gun got its ability to be spammed by just holding it down. Uh, 
oh yeah you now Those have the, the, the you now update. have the ability to bounce throwables and eggs off walls or was that just sound it could just be just, it could no just it was sound. bounce sound okay so it was a subtle nerf to every other throwable by just allowing it to have a little sound when it bounces off walls yep and we also had uh we also had the guan you said for this one which... yeah that was the guan you twitch drops uh, I believe actually 2021 was the first set of Twitch drops for Halloween, and then Guan Yu came out. Yep. So definitely, this I, I'm, too bad. I'm a bit too biased for this update to like put it because I just put it high due to my experiences with it. But I, like I said, I think that it was definitely one of the best lunar events so far because it came alongside of. Um, not only a new gun, but a lot of interesting balance changes. You you had like a lot of uh, fun stuff going on. I'd say I'd say above Lunar Twenty Twenty. If I were to or B, if I were to like be honest, I'd put it like top B. Like okay. I'd say better than Twenty Twenty Christmas, but that's me. Uh, you say like mid Lunar, uh, Broads. Yeah. Based upon what you heard, what do you think? Fair enough. Okay. That's fair. Alright, now we go to the last Easter event before it started being called Respawning Day. Yep. Uh, I believe this was also right as Steam Deck was... No, that was getting... That was next month, never mind. Yeah, um, it was like summer-ish. Oh yeah, this was SVR overhaul! Yeah! Yep. The good now old I SVR have overhaul. To like this. Oh god. Um SVR 2.0 and say goodbye this was to old SVR. Standard like event format. Nothing much really happened, I think, besides Saw Security and New SVR coming out. Yep. Uh, what else was it? I think that it was We did have a BCG uh, update in this one. Like the reload time, the self Yeah, they damage, just overhauled the it because they were, they didn't know how to change it, so they were just like, ah, let's just do this. And the impact egg impact sound is more explosive. Yeah, they made it a lot more apparent. Um, I mean, it's that dirt stack in SVR, but then I think they nerfed it. They removed skunk bombs from blocking. That was a big feature. Yeah. Oh yeah. Skunk bombs and blocking were so oppressive. Okay, I, I guess to like Especially give some uh give some like insight as to how broken skunk bombs were in blocking when they were featured. I think they had to be nerfed twice before they just said screw it and they removed it entirely. And the main reason was what everyone would do, you'd have like three people all drop like five skunks on the point all at once. So that way no zombie would just be able to come in there and eat anybody. Because they just die instantly to gas. Yep. And that's why they removed it. It was too easy to win. So it just got removed entirely. But I, I think, yeah, no, SVR was really the big carry of the update. Because it was, it was a very yeah. substantial release. A lot of people were happy to see it, but a, a little bit mad to see the old one go. Yeah, I was personally sure. happy to see it, obviously, but... I'd say um, same... I think besides that though, it wasn't that great. I mean like I like the class you don't think the classes were that appealing? Oh I meant the like the update itself for, for like uh, okay. the event. Like SVR, of course I love SVR, but I mean, also got Personally... the new pass too, so the Zombies it... Rebels pass. I, okay. Yeah, no, I will say the SVR pass was really nice because I think Sit and Peace came with that. Oh yeah. Sit in yeah, peace, one of the most those. used emotes. Um, I that emote. <laughs> yeah, but besides that, though, we also it got was... uh, we also got Saw Security. So yeah, that was, that I don't know. It, it's like somewhere high B. I, I'd say I don't think A tier, but yeah, let's uh, let's try to speed blitz through the last few of these because uh, uh, funny yeah, man I, here has I to go. I would say I would say lower A. Yeah, like, so A. definitely lower A, but. I, I, it's like high B low, right? But yeah, no, let's just keep, let's just try to like 
get a bit more efficient here because now we're getting to the point where Broads can actually start having some input because we're getting Dude, close I'm getting to so it. close. I'm yet. so excited to unmute my mic and start Yeah, talking. no, okay. I'm so so let, let's, let's quickly go through the last few. So summer 2022, um, definitely some really nice cosmetics. We got the Panama hat, the summer jag, and all the other... Like the, uh, what was it? The big banana leaf. That was always a really cute one. Yeah, well, besides that, that yeah, we get the coconut capybara. So many people were happy to see it. Um, oh, the, wait, the giant star nose mole was released there. Okay, D tier. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, not really that uh, impactful summer update. It was kind of just there. Do you think it? Uh, do you think it's it should be C? Like maybe C or low B? I'd say like high C. It wasn't bad, but it was just there. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, moving forward, Halloween. 2022 Halloween, personal, like, statement, some of the best cosmetics in the game. Oh my god, it was so good. I love the Bone Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice looking. I don't think anything of major importance happened, but it was just drip, and that was it. It, it was just nice cosmetic. Yeah, we got the, we got the, uh, spooky teddy bear and the yeah. Alibre lizard. They started testing the new net code around this time through PTR. Yep. Um, which was a whole mess in of itself. And also, but... uh, side note, they brought the this was this was the first uh, plush reveal. That's right. The, they introduced the plushes for the first time. Yep. Uh, that's one nice. piece of trip marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we Everyone's also got favorite neckwear around this time. So which, um, nice feature neckwear. But I'd say, I'd say uh, bottom B. Yeah, bottom B. Nothing got added. It was definitely... It, it had some of the best cosmetics of any event in history, I'd say, but... Eh, nothing really got added. Um, yeah. So yeah, now we move on to the last event, and this was... I, I think went through actually the time that Broad showed up, so this was as... A lot got at it actually here. Cat Mines, Pete Swamp, an expansion to the milestones, an expansion to the super challenges. But unfortunately, this was the release of the net code. It was looking so good, and then it just hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. So and we also got the introduction of the Crocodile Club. Crocodiles. Another update to uh, Swamp. Or more just, updates to SVR. Walking, I believe, got better movement speed while skating, which, yeah, that's that's impactful. Um, oh. oh, we got the we got the new mushrooms. Uh, Impossible tape got its buff, and yep. Dartfly got its ability to. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, no, Dartfly got its ability to crouch zoom, which definitely a nice little feature. But besides that. I think netcode kind of killed the update. It was so I'd say like, good. I'd say middle and then, B. Yeah, like this could have been a solid A update, but netcode just hit it a bit too hard. So like right there is good. Yeah, right there. Um, yep. All right, bros. Let's go. So yeah, no, <laughs> you I can now started, speak. I started January fifteenth, so it was actually after the Chris Remiss event is when I started. Yeah, uh, but that's that's right, right after. And hold on, one thing I was looking at while. I was muted just listening to you guys and fooling around. Um, you didn't add the Praise Banan April Fool's Day 2023. Was there a reason for that? Uh, I think Weezy basically said that a lot of the um, April it Fool's Day... It was the same. The same. Okay, so like yeah, the, day, the, the St. Patrick's Day and some of these kind of ran into the same exact thing. Yeah, yeah was, they were very right, right. similar with there, but yeah, no, it's definitely... It's a nice event, but yeah. Now, now you can start saying stuff. Let's go. Year of the Bunny. Um, dang. And I feel like this was such a good one to come in, like, in my head. Because, like, I love the Peach Blossom Blow. Or Peach Blossom Bow. I love oh. the Lunar the lunar Jag Skin, the Lunar, lunar Silence Pistol. I literally use both of those to this day. Like, I think it had some um, of the best like, cosmetics it, like, out of any Lunar event. Obviously, yeah. the, super lop, the Super Lop Bunny and the Celestial Blue Bunny are like insanely popular like a lot of well, the like, bunnies are popular yeah, like, like a lot of people use those like those skins as well so like i just loved some of the cosmetics and then right i don't remember if it was during this it was also the guan yu 
um, drops. I think they return. brought it back. Right? Yeah, they brought yeah, it back. I think it was that. brought back, but it was just such a fun time because those cosmetics were cool. A lot of new players had come since after the last year's Lunar's event, so a lot of people had no idea what the Guan Yu set was. And I remember there was, I would look at any streamer and they would have like insane numbers of people hanging out. Oh yeah, it was drops, huge enjoying, for the enjoying category. Enjoying this event, yeah, it was. collecting the red <laughs> envelopes. This one was very memorable. Um, solid A for me. Yeah, I yeah, solid this A. This was like, an awesome one to come into because I was like, I oh, so this is what all of the events are going to be like. <laughs> They're all going to be amazing. I was a little wrong. Well, but, uh, a little wrong, but it's okay. Another solid hey, thing know, that makes uh, it a another solid thing that makes it a is that we also got the umbrella coupon. Code. Uh, yeah, we got um the introduction of that because they were showing respect. Personally, I'd put it above the Easter events, not just like at the very bottom of a. I'd say it was yeah. like. Yeah, right I think there. It's better than the Easter ones. Um, now we have the start of respawning day. So which was I think that was when health juice like the whole like health juice update. Yeah, that was super healthy. Which was yep. really the, the health juice factory yeah, update. Yeah. You got the juicer, which boy, isn't that impactful? But we got lemurs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, <laughs> this is where I was just like, oh, okay, so I'm not going to vibe with every event, because, like, looking at the list, there was not a single one, like, I was, like, jumping out of my chair excited for, you know, there wasn't that many gun skins, even the ones that we got, I think there's way better ones in the SMG slot and the BCG slots, especially, even for, uh, event skins, you know, I'm not just talking about anything yeah. you can buy at the shop, I think there's better event skins than those, so... Uh, didn't this like the, could have been better. Yeah, I didn't like the um, the breeds either. They were just a bunch of meh to me. I think there's better things in each of the slots for those as well. So I was like, okay, so like it's just going to be like a flavor. Sometimes I'll really like it and I'll really be excited to get some of the cosmetics. And other times I'll be just like stone-faced. And this was like a little bit of a stone-faced Yeah, one. the cosmetics are very, they were very unique in, in, in a sense because it didn't really relate to Easter, but it more so related to res the respawning day mm -hmm. event itself. So I actually this remember. didn't really. This is like the first one that didn't really follow through with all the other events, huh? Yeah, yeah. and I remember that a lot of people after this you the photo video, booth. the video was released for this. Yeah, a lot the of photo people booth was nice too. With the song, you remember the song? I think I'm remembering this correct. There was like. A special video about it turning into respawning day with the animals singing. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, and I do lot, remember that. Yeah, a lot of people were theorizing that like this would actually allow respawning in the game because they were Only always losing it. I saw really? the name. Yes, that because it had always been doing. called oh. Easter event, and then they changed it to respawn. So they're like, wait, they're finally introducing respawning to yeah. Sar. I remember so many people saying <laughs> it's, that. It's a yeah, bit of a. Yeah, people requested that for a while. It's a bit of a C for me. I would say like high C, like yeah, higher, less, like this this update kind of like the juicer and everything. It kind of made it fall on its face a little. It wasn't really the greatest thing. I'm almost, um, I'm almost to my fight with that or <laughs> my fight with Weezy. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, you almost to your diss track over here. So yeah, now we got um, when was Summer this? Was Royale. this Super Sea Land? I think this was the last content addition to the game. The cosmetics yep. in here were really good. You had stuff like the lemon skirt, the summer aviators, the, the watermelon, uh, dart yeah, the watermelon gun. dart fly, and the lime glasses. You also got the flip flop melee, which people lost yeah. it over because you can now slap people with a flip flop. But yeah, you got the chocolate. super banana dog and the apricot, which nice additions. But yeah, the I breeds think... were a little bit underwhelming. But honestly, like. When you look at, if you were to compare all of the summer events, I feel like this is the most summer, like things. Like how, I don't know how they didn't Definitely. put these in. Like years we also and years got um, ago. Like, fish. These, yeah, these were so awesome. Like a lot of these were just like when I think about summer, this is exactly what I think about. You know, like the the casual lemon outfit. You know, the summer aviators, the the Panama hat, watermelon cosmetics. Like, so I feel like they did really good with. Uh, Taking exactly what you think would be in summer and like putting it into this cosmetically. So at least on that end, I thought it was pretty good. I wouldn't yeah. put it in S tier, but if there was like a yeah. thing right below S tier for like S minus, I would put it there. But I definitely do think it was a really good sort of like, flex like really update. top of A. Like, yeah, really top, but like I don't know. Like I I think it's right below 2021 walking like Halloween. 
for Is me. Is there anything other than cosmetics right here? Because I think no, it was not really. It was night mode. Mm. Well, night mode was in 2021. Oh, 2019 yeah, didn't have it. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. So yeah, it was just really this. nice I cosmetics. Just, I just don't think it should go above anything that had like really nice outside of cosmetic like implications. You know, like 2021 Halloween fit its sick. theme so hard. Yeah, I really did. Yeah. Um, and now we have me. a very interesting really well. event. Um, yeah. We have the collab with Turnip Boy. Here we go, Weezy. Listen up. I think <laughs> this is probably the most impactful event this game has ever seen because it opens up the door in the future to more crazy collabs. I'm not saying that this event itself was wild, like the craziest thing I've ever seen, but like the map changing around a little bit, like especially with the welcome center, like the fountain. And yeah, some of the cosmetics that I see from this, even though there wasn't like 18 like other passes, some of these, I still see people use this revolver. I still see people use this umbrella. The revolver like, is so good. And so think about I it. I, I see more people use like this umbrella and this revolver at, out of a, what? How many cosmetics were there? Six, I'm seeing. Six. Yeah, there was one like so six. there's six, more people yeah. using like two out of six of these cosmetics than I see people use one out of 18 of other of these events. So I think just the in-game cosmetics being good, the visual changes to the Welcome Center, and just the fact that now we know there can be collabs with other games like this is huge. Like, like yeah. clearly this is really like does. the only other one in my brain, which feels like an obvious S. Like everything else would have to be argued out hard, but this was actually really big for SAR, like this this little event. For strictly like marketing wise alone, yeah, it's definitely an S tier. Yeah, it, this yeah, this this un, this event was very unique. Mm, like this is probably the most unique event, like honestly. Yeah, for sure, for nobody sure. Nobody was expecting no it. No one was and expecting when it, came out, it. it. We like lost the it no. was like really friendly between the two companies. They did stuff with Sara as well in their game. It was just really, really, really cool. Really, really different than any of the other event. And once again, it just opens up the door to more cool outside the box things in the future. So this is where Definitely I'm like, this feels like, special. this feels like one of the most like insanely impactful events and important events of the game. Yeah. In my eyes. Yeah. I'd put it in like bottom S. Yeah, bottom S. Yeah, I'll, as it's, long as I can fight for it to be an S, I just it. feel like it's really valuable and like really, really good. Uh, so going through the last four here, we have 2023 Halloween. This one was interesting because they brought back the challenge system, which I think yeah. was a really nice addition. I remember you were actually really happy about it, Broads, because it was a yes. massive I was also system. happy yeah. about it. <laughs> I, I, no, I, yeah, a I lot of people were, one. but like yeah. I just remember Broads was like losing it for this. Yeah, I asked in my open letter to the SAR community where I addressed the like moderators and devs. I asked for like more in-depth events because it was so mindlessly boring to collect thing, press thing in store, and that would be it. And so this yeah. is where they brought back the quote like refresh style or the new style of events from now in the future and this was like exactly what i envisioned like obviously i want them to build even more off of this but like this is exactly it's a step in our direction for yeah. like actually interactive events instead of just mindlessly doing the same thing for every single event so like so yeah, to note it was really quickly good. this was also when um party animal was added which was a huge cosmetic flex uh yeah. just like event wise alone um, but besides that, it was really just small additions change wise on like the back end. I don't remember any big balance, I think. No, I don't think so. But besides now that, we're already nope. in the era of no big yeah. changes, no gameplay changes, no nothing. Like, while, while they also, no, this, this was the start. I remember now, this was the start of the original schedule meme where they posted, oh, yeah, this is what we're working on. That was the start of that, where they posted that for the first time. Yeah. But yeah, you rate that? from but I will say something though for cosmetic wise alone some of the best it was just so good I love the animal breeds love the cosmetics yeah. amazing wise I think even if the cosmetics were mid just it upgrading to this format the format is now where it actually yeah. makes events interesting and not just mindlessly doing the same thing you normally do which is just AFK play the game and pick something up like. This actually yeah. made you have to think about what you were doing to earn the event things. So, like, I the think, challenges could be a bit harder. Yeah, they could. But yeah, like I'm saying, they could be. They, they could at least they just sure. exist. Is what I'm saying. That's why I feel like it's important. That's why I feel like it, it deserves at least somewhere an A because it changed. I'd how say we it's like events. right below 2021's Halloween. 
Yeah, not quite yeah, a bug. Does this really have well. much outside of uh, outside of cosmetic implications? So I actually like that spot. Like this had what walking, and so yeah, I feel like this is yeah this is definitely nice right there. there is a really good like flex yeah, position for, sure. for it. But now we get on to the last uh, Christmas event of 2023, which dragons yay everyone was hyping for it and then it was just dragons Dude, isn't that so crazy to think about that what december i can't even see the 12th oh yeah so the same day that yeah, uh, season dropped. yeah december 12th dude this is the i cannot believe we've done this and this with the same season the season 10 season 10 season 10 holy like yeah 10, 10, 10, 10. this is crazy like that's illegal uh the cosmetics weren't that great in this set I'd, I'd say the only really notable ones were the um, brown winter the coat year. and the New Year's yeah. item set. Yeah, the, the swan was nice, two, but that was the week about three it. was nice. Like it was very niche for yeah, uh, it was really niche. The icicle deer's one of the more used animals, but besides that, it was just you're really looking at the dragon update for this one. Besides just that, and dragons, see, like, see. amazing see like one. amazing animal breed, but event wise. Eh, mid middle C. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was just kind of there. No, I never, I hate to be the one to rush us, but I gotta get going. So I feel like Let's we can do. do a nice little, we can be thorough still. But um, I, I have, I don't really have feelings about this one. So I'll just hear you guys out. Um, more okay. dragon breeds. I think people were excited about though. That's just what remember. Yeah, it was a nice little addition to the game but besides that it was kind of just eh. this is the nothing really niche. happened there really the content drought era so this just felt like yeah like a kind of makeup for there being nothing like else the cosmetics added. were nice yeah. i will add that like they were really yeah. really good looking but yeah i don't think i would have to by putting it in c you got to think like this like, by, also, i wouldn't melee, disrespect it. this like, is a, the this gold is a melee the golden black sword melee like these are really good cosmetics so yeah i don't yeah i, I feel like AK it's like nice uh oh yeah no the dragon ak alone i feel like yeah, puts the dragon it... ak and the sword alone just those two items i feel like it puts it in a respectable b it was a bit of a disservice to the other lunar events though yeah. yeah okay this is where i have a strong opinion i feel like this respawning day fell so flat i feel like people were excited about these or are these supposed to be octopus or squids i don't even remember that's how obsolete they've been. yeah the octopi Octopuses. the octopi and um octopi, yeah. like when these came out i sold like one out of 45 people like being like wow this is amazing like no one vibed no with one this cared. cosmetic at all i have never seen this cosmetic in game in my entire life like the octopi just people did not it just didn't get the love that i thought would have it just completely fell flat and once again this is still the content drought era so i think people are getting more and more restless too as if you want to be very sort of like um extreme you we could put this in d just because of the whole like drought like of it compared drought. to other events yeah because yeah. it's kind of like at this point everybody knows that they're just waiting too long to work on whatever they're doing and now we know whatever they're doing yeah. so see i actually yeah. would i actually agree with the decal because when i think about this for sure i think about okay it's a content drought but they actually did a really good work with the items this feels like yeah. the same thing, it's except like, they didn't do nothing. Yeah, really it, was it's not much. It was a tied over event. They yeah. kind of just threw it in there. It's yeah. definitely like top of D, but saying top of D doesn't mean much. Yeah, I agree no. with that. Yeah, but um, that's like right. the extent. Now we have two every year events that only slightly, slightly, slightly change, right? Or they, didn't, they don't change at all. Is it really only just- It's just They really just don't change. No, it's just it's just pure cosmetic. You, we could just like throw these both in D and call it a day. Um, yeah. Do I say I feel like you could put in C because it, it yeah, has a bit more I feel more like meaning. it at least promotes something different. You know, grab a buddy yeah. and hop into duos. Like for a grab your that, grab like, your buddy, grab your best friend, grab the person you're with. That's why I wouldn't put it in D. Grab your partner. It's, it's a lot different than a lot of these other. It's bottom C, I'd say. Yeah, yeah bottom C. Duos day. But St. Patrick's Day, it's just it's there. There's nothing really to it. It's just D. Yeah, there's sure. cool skins, but you know. Well, yeah. well, that's it. That's the list, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Mick Balds over here has to go deal with this thing. So, yeah, have a good time, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow when we. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow. We'll see you next week when we talk about. <laughs>
when when we talk about uh the update that's gonna release in 48 years uh but yeah hold on so before we end let me just uh i don't, I don't know if it's picking up oh there we go is that a phone there's my ring yeah there's my ringtone merry christmas no. all right end the episode